the most expensive part of any EV is the battery and where they come from matters and what they're made from matters. There are different batteries for different purposes, but where, oh, where are the LFPs in the USA? That's what we're here to discuss, and we have got some great new information. I am joined by Randy Kirk from Randy Kirk Videos on YouTube. Uh, you can also find him on X, and you can find him on Patreon, where uh, he uh, begs desperately for cash, as we all do, uh, because uh, this is a very small industry, and it doesn't pay very well, and it is a whole, whole lot of work. Um, I welcome you, Randy. Thank you for joining me today. It is my pleasure, and I, you know, I would hold my hands out all the time during my shows if it would help. But <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a live stream for the shareholder meeting, and I joked that, of course, Elon's doing a happy dance. He got fifty-six billion dollars. Heck, I'd do it for fifty-six dollars, but none of the Germans felt like like ponying up. And then uh, a viewer went ahead and uh, super chatted fifty-six dollars deal's a deal. If we've learned anything, a deal's a deal. So in the middle of the live stream, I'm doing my little Elon dance and uh, Herbert has no idea what's going on. He's like, what are you saying? There's, what? At, least, there's at least a possibility that you should get that clip and oh, yeah. give up some more money. I, mean, I think that's <laughs> right. That's right. So maybe the editor will find that clip and put it in. I'll there add that go. to the notes. Absolutely. So we've got uh, this great story here. I don't know how reliable this is. I'm having trouble finding additional sources, but it seems to fit with what we've heard. Tesla prepares to start in-house production of LFP cells and lines up suppliers. Now suppliers, you don't need a whole lot of supplies for an LFP battery because they don't have nickel and manganese and cobalt. They have lithium, iron, and phosphate, which are available all over the world. Um, lithium is, there's different kinds of lithium. Uh, and there's also different kinds of phosphate. You want the kind that comes from rocks rather than salt, rather than brine, but that's okay. Uh, these are, uh, they've got a, a new report about a lithium carbonate supply deal, which seems to confirm this theory. Um, yes, so that means Tesla could be making LFPs in the country. Why, why is that important, Randy? Well, there's so many possible reasons why that's important. Um, I would say that the main reason it's important probably has to do with the uh, energy storage part of the business. Mm. Uh, downstream, in just a few months, we're going to have cyber cabs. And as many people have pointed out, why in the world wouldn't you put in the least expensive battery you could possibly put in a cyber cab that will get the job done, especially if it's just going to last and last and last and last, be able to charge to 100%. You know, the kinds of things that you would get out of LFP that are uh, not necessarily true for things that have nickel in them. Sure. So uh, if these batteries are cheaper, can charge to 100 and have a longer, uh, more cycles in their lifespan, why hasn't the U.S. been making them so far? Well, I think there's a couple of things going on. Number one is that the nickel part of it was the chemistry that was, the, I, at least in my little tiny world, it was the only chemistry five years ago, four years ago, three years ago. It was these other chemistries that started coming on. I think most of the work being done by uh, CATL, maybe some by LG or Samsung, but uh, I haven't seen any really new stuff coming out of Panasonic. They seem to be a follower, uh, which is unusual for the Japanese, right? I mean, they're supposed it's to be very unusual. Very unusual. Uh, so, yeah, so I think it's mostly that the new chemistries have been coming along from various labs and factories, um, and these new chemistries had some advantages. One of the big advantages is they're pretty hard to catch on fire yes. um, comparatively. Uh, don't burn as long as they do. Um, so that was one of the first things that I started seeing even, you know, a year and a half ago when they first started playing around, or at least in, in my world, uh, first started seeing the new, new concepts. So we had to wait for LFPs to catch up in terms of watt hours per kilogram, but they did catch up and we still couldn't do them in part because of patent issues. I will show this here. Um, 
The major patents governing LFP and its use as a cathode material in lithium ion batteries expired at or before the end of 2022. And there's this interesting thing in patent law where if your patent is going to expire, you know, on Tuesday, if I make all my copies on Monday and then try and sell them Tuesday, it still doesn't work. Right. Uh, and there are other things. And conversely, if I start making them on Monday and you and selling them Monday, but you don't complain, it right. still expires on Tuesday. So it's this real messy thing where nobody want, in the U.S. wanted to touch them until it's definitely, definitely expired because that can push it out by another year or two and no one wants that. So that was a big chunk of it. Now, in terms of, you know, Tesla's had trouble ramping batteries in the past. Why is this different? Why will this be quicker? Oh, you know, I don't know a whole lot about the advantages in, of the chemistries in terms of ramping. Uh, maybe you're going to have to fill in that spot for me. Well, what about the equipment? Where is it coming from? Well, I, I'm assuming that there's the CATL equipment that's going into Reno is set up for the LFP. Um, and that's probably what the whole this whole purchase is all about, is to supply the LFP line in uh, in Reno that's uh, being being provided to us by CATL. According to the Bloomberglers, and what great formatting on this Chinese website, Tesla is planning to expand its Gigafactory in Nevada. That differs because Tesla wants to add production lines for LFP. This equipment is already built. It's already been used. It's already tested. It's already proven. And they are working with China-based CATL to just install it and get it running. So that's going to save a whole lot of time. Uh, now, you know the advantages of the, you know, the IRA requires you to have uh, as much domestic production as possible right. to for buyers to qualify. Right. Um, but do you know how much uh, the IRA also gives to the battery manufacturer? Oh, so yeah. let's say, let's say Randy owns a battery company that makes cells. Mm -hmm. You would get a credit. You sell the cells to Tesla. They put them in a module and assemble that, they get a smaller credit, or you could be Tesla, build the batteries and build the modules and get both. Uh, if you'd like to see an example of that, I've found a uh, chart here that shows quite nicely. Tesla Model Y, if you're looking at one with an 80 kilowatt hour pack, mm -hmm. has a $2,800 credit at the uh, cell level and an additional $800 at the module level. Right. So 3,500 off on, on my cost of goods sold right. add, add to that the 7,500 you can get as a buyer. I mean, that's, 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 real, money. that's <laughs> real money. That's a quarter of the cost of the car right. that is now covered by somebody else. Um, you look at the Chevy bolt, you're looking at Still 2,800 bucks off the Mach-E mm -hmm. even more because the battery's too large for what it is. The Rivian, right. a big fat stack of cash, but you have to make the batteries domestically. Right. And there are some wiggle arounds on that that you can do where, cause I've seen last year people were saying, wait a minute, how is this car out of Fremont with what I know is a Chinese battery still qualifying. And the answer was each year, the requirements get a little more strict. Right. And in some cases you can use, uh, the elements from a partner country, Korea, Australia, mm -hmm. and those will count towards the total. So if enough of the battery contains material from a partner country, it will still qualify. It gets stricter every year. So it could be that we know that now the model three long range qualifies for the credit. It could be that those batteries are made domestically, but it could also be that those batteries are made somewhere else using U S minerals or Canadian minerals. And it would still just squeak by over the cutoff. So that would be pretty exciting if true. Here we've got more information on this. Tesla, uh, this is a story you shared with me a few days ago. Tesla 4680 production by LG set to start by August. That would be pretty exciting. Yeah. Because that means by the end of this year, um, well, it means they could quite conceivably increase Cybertruck production regardless of the 4680 ramp in um in in Austin or Cato Road 
at the very least, these would give them additional cells to use to aid their ramp. Uh, but this would be annually enough to supply up to 110,000 EVs. Mm -hmm. yep. And these would be made in the US. I assume that LG would get the battery cell credit and Tesla would get the battery module credit. Well, okay, yes, except what you got to expect is that in any negotiation like that, the negotiator Tesla is going to be saying, okay, yeah, we know you're going to get three, you know, $35, the $35 per kilowatt hour. Uh, we want a piece of that action. Now, Panasonic, if I understand it correctly, Panasonic agreed to something like 7%. Uh, I can't remember now. It's been. I don't. Uh, I don't remember either. But it was a split. I just don't was, remember what it was. There was going to be some kind of split with each of these companies. There was right. Well, uh, I still demand a very good price. Yes. Whatever that ends up being, with the credit, factor it in because right. it has changed your cost of goods sold. Right. Exactly. So we're seeing exciting stuff. If Tesla can make. LFP cars, if they can make LFP batteries for the cyber cab, the robo taxi, the compact, the intermediate compact, we're going to see prices continue to fall. We're going to see a rear wheel drive model three. That's now $7,500 cheaper. And you, well, yeah, but the batteries won't be quite as cheap as the ones from China. Okay, fine. Five, 12%, 15% cheaper. That's gonna we're getting at that point. Why would you buy anything else? It is for you're going to be at after after incentives. What twenty five, twenty six thousand? That is a whole lot of car for that kind of money. That is at that point you're at almost asking. Well, do we even need a cheaper car? The answer is yeah, yeah, because as as you've pointed out a number of times, and I appreciate this, is that. If we can get the batteries below $45 a kilowatt hour, they're free. <laughs> they're free. And any dollar under that is a dollar you just got paid to make a battery. Exactly. Will will these incentives last forever? No, and they're not designed to. They're designed to get us to the point where volume is high enough that batteries are cheap enough that they no longer require assistance. And to all the people saying, well, Stop jamming them down our throat. These uh, subsidies are, you know, unfair and uncompetitive. My brother, uh, I assure you, the oil industry is still getting trillions. Go after them first, then we'll talk. Well, um, I think the, I think the bigger issue. So, it, you know, it's very, very important. I think while we don't want to get into politics on your channel, especially, I think it's still important to talk about some of the specifics in the industry. And the and kind of the the positives and negatives as they might be far one side of the aisle or the other. And I think with regard to batteries, it's very very clear it's strategic. We can mm -hmm. and, and 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 hats off to the Biden administration. They were very clear on this. It it would be a strategic nightmare not to have substantial uh, lithium uh, or battery battery production on this shore. Uh, in terms of uh, just, you know, any potential downstream for some kind of a economic or a, you know, a real war. It would be like, to me, I believe it would be as foolish as losing your aerospace industry or your, yes. Um, yes. you know, a number of critical things. If we lost the ability to build power plants, my goodness, we would be at the mercy of of who knows what kind of potential bad actor. I'll add, I'll add one more on here that, you know, might end up being your headline. The future of warfare is drones. Mm. And that's not just Randy saying it, although I've been saying it for years. Elon Musk has repeatedly said it. He said it again yesterday. He posted again yesterday. The future of warfare is drones. Uh, uh, the uh, Taiwan, I... I Brian Wong and I did a, a, a thing, I think, uh, six, eight months ago on the fact that Taiwan needs to get a bajillion drones. They need a bajillion at least. You know that number, right? It's just after, you know, 10 trillion or something. Anyway, they need a lot of drones. Well, guess what? This weekend, huge article that Taiwan is now saying we need even more than that in terms of drones. What do drones need to operate? Oh, yeah. Lithium batteries for <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. 
So if you don't have batteries to operate your drones, you're at a huge strategic disadvantage. Mm, that's scary and uh, sobering a little, I guess. So guys in the comments, what do we miss? What do we misunderstand? Leave it. We will not know unless you tell us and everybody else like subscribe, smack of the thumb, head on over to the Randy Kirk channel, see what he's up to. Um, his videos are better than mine because while mine have Brian and Randy in them, his have Randy and Brian. Uh, so that's makes Brian them are better because the shirts, everybody knows it. Your shirt is still on my channel, Randy. There's nothing I can do about it. I've tried to blur it. It just doesn't help. Yeah. And how do we make up for it? Volume, volume, volume. And there ain't much louder than a Randy Kirk shirt. Everybody else, like, subscribe, do the usual, and stay tuned, stay juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots, perhaps when I'm back at my home, maybe in a week. I don't know, man.